What is going on? Welcome to another video, another episode of Making Gains. We're at day 100, would you believe? Day 100. This started way back in August. Today's date is November the 20th, and that marks exactly 100 days. So today, I've had my breakfast, I've had three bananas, I've had, what else did I have? I had uh, two wraps with some honey. So I haven't had I haven't had any protein this morning, but I've had a lot of carbs. And I'm going to go down to the gym now and get a nice pump going. I hope. So we're going to do some arms and some chest. That's the plan anyway. But if you guys know me well enough by now, you'll know that any plan I have before I go to the gym can change at any time as to what I feel like I tr I want to train. And if I go and do a few sets of biceps and they're sore, or my tendons are hurting, or my elbows are hurting. I'll change to something else and if I go and do you know some back and it's still sore my lower back still giving me a bit of trouble from the last session I'll change to chest you know it really doesn't matter as long as I hit each muscle group at least once if not twice a week the way work's been going recently I've been working way too many hours I haven't been able to hit each muscle group twice a week that's just completely out of the question so I've been hitting it basically once a week so that's how we're doing it at the moment today is chest and shoulders no it's not <laughs> it's chest and arms and following that I'm going to do a physique update today is going to be called making gains day 100 the 100 kg physique because I am weighing in at around about 100 kgs consistently now uh, especially since I added in creatine again um, I feel good I feel full I feel slightly bloated around my stomach area, but honestly, at 100 kgs, I'm happy to have a little bit of fluff around the, the midsection. And there is a bit of fluff there, but you guys will see that all in good time. I'm going to get a pre-workout drink going, which is actually, would you believe, going to be one of these. So we're still drinking them. I still enjoy them every single time. And I, what I will say is that actually orange is actually my favorite flavor now. Um, it goes orange, white, then blue. In fact, blue, guys, blue ultra monsters, they are absolutely fucking disgusting. They make me cringe. They are so sweet and so over flavored. It's just, oh, they taste chemically. They really do. And you guys who tell me, yes, all this shit has chemicals in it. Well, I'll tell you what, the blue monsters, they taste like shit and they taste like they're full of chemicals. But the white and the orange, the flavors are slightly less strong and um, they're, actually, they're actually quite nice. I do enjoy them. And obviously the caffeine gives me the kick. So in each one of these, you've got 160 milligrams of caffeine. And I find that if I haven't had any caffeine that day and I'm gonna go and work out, between 150 and 200 milligrams of caffeine is absolutely perfect. Uh, to put me in a good position to push hard for at least an hour or an hour and a half. So with that said, I'm going to get this down and I'll see you guys at the gym. Alright everybody, what is going on? We're here at Lasseter's Hotel Casino. A uh, bit of a change of scenery and the first exercise of this workout was this absolutely delicious incline press I think it's made through matrix um, I've got 40 kgs on each side and we did uh, five working sets of eight reps so at the start of pretty much every workout now especially chest workout I'm doing some strength sets um, sets of five to eight reps and today I was able to hit eight reps consistently for five sets, which I felt really good about. From there, we went over to an incline dumbbell press. Now, dumbbell presses are something I, I don't really fuck around with usually, to be honest. This is using 30, what is it, 32.5 kg dumbbells on probably about a 30 degree angle. Um, and, you know, another incline pressing movement. Upper chest is definitely something I want to develop. So for my pressing movements today, we did both incline pressing movements and 
yeah, the dumbbells went up pretty well. Dumbbells are something I haven't really touched since early on in my lifting life because I felt like I wasn't stable enough to control them properly, but now, now I think I, I am. So I'm probably going to incorporate those a little bit more going forward. But that was another five working sets of seven to ten reps. From there, we went over to some shoulder work. And today I, I decided not to do any front delts because I'd already smashed the front delts with the, the incline pressing work. So I went over straight over to side delts. And from this angle, guys, the camera is slightly, you know, it's, it's on the floor. So it looks like I'm sort of, the form definitely doesn't look like what, what it looks like if the camera is, is at um, eye, light or eye height. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, 20 rep sets. Similar to uh, the, the leg extension, I like to do high reps with side, side delts and that's exactly what I'm doing today. I'm not doing high reps with, with light weight, I'm making sure the weight is still you know, relatively heavy and that is 15 kilo dumbbells so it's definitely heavy enough. I've got a little bit of a, a, little bit of a pump going there now and um, following that, more side delt work with a barbell. Now I really like these uh, single arm barbell side raises. You can do them, you know, many ways. Um, I'll either lean on something like this pole that I'm leaning on or a bench and get a slight arch in the back, lean slightly forward and then just bring it up. And we're doing once again 20 rep sets. I think I've got a 12.5 kg uh, barbell here. You can do it with dumbbells, you can do it with kettlebells, you can do it with a barbell. I Prefer, I really like doing it with a barbell because I feel like the weight distribution along the barbell just adds to the contraction. Um, it, it, makes you, it makes you balance it a little bit more and um, yeah, I just really like this movement. So it was two pressing movements, two side delt movements, uh, nothing else. I actually went back to the gym later on today and did some rear delts, uh, but you'll see that later on in the clip. Uh, hope you enjoyed the voiceover, hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Peace. Alright guys, post chest and shoulder session, we're here with Dallas McCarver on YouTube. Quite like, I quite enjoy watching Dallas McCarver. I feel like he's he's my age as a bodybuilder, and he's my height, and uh, he's just a massive cunt, and um, he's white as well. So I guess those those three reasons are the reasons I like Dallas McCarver as a bodybuilder. It's going to be interesting seeing his career develop over the next few years. But with that being said. We're down in the gym. Um, last last clip you saw of me was at home. I was about to show you guys the physique up there. I wasn't happy with what I saw. I definitely wasn't happy. So I said to myself, right, I'm not going to dwell on this. I'm going to come down to the gym later on. I've managed to, to get myself down here. I've got a quick rear delt pump because I actually missed out rear delts in the chest and shoulder workout that I did this morning. So um, that kind of pissed me off during the day, so I knew I needed to get down here again to do rear delts. We're in the middle of it right now, um, just doing some supersets. Not too heavy, but definitely heavy enough to fail on around about 10 to 12 reps on each set of the superset. So with that said guys, I'm going to do a physique update now. This is 100 kilos on day 100. I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good in the gym, outside of the gym when, when I lose the pump, uh, you know, when I'm feeling flat, soft, I don't feel so good, but uh, this is how we're looking, and um, let me know what you think, I'll talk to you guys after.